Hello. Welcome to the Everyday English mini lesson. My name's Marion and I'm a teacher at Everyday English. I hope you're well. In a recent lesson, I spoke to you about how we can talk about large amounts using quantifiers. In this lesson, I'm going to talk to you about how we can use quantifiers to talk about small amounts. So here we have some money. This is actually quite a lot of money. But if we wanted to say we had a small amount of money, we could say, my friend has a little money. This again is quite a lot of clothes. But if we wanted to say we didn't have a lot of clothes, we could say, my friend has a few clothes. Why have we used different quantifiers for money and for clothes? Money is an uncountable noun. So we use a little. Clothes is a countable noun. So the quantifier that we use is a few. If we're not going to use a noun in our sentence, we just say a little or a few. My friend has a little or my friend has a few. So if we use a little or a few, the meaning is some, but not a lot. We can also say, my friend has very little money or my friend has very few clothes. Again, with an uncountable noun, the quantifier that we use is very little. And with a countable noun, the quantifier that we use is very few. And when we have no noun, we use very little, or very few, depending on whether we are talking about a noun that is countable or uncountable. In this case, very little or very few has the meaning of not much or many. So this is how we talk about small quantities in positive sentences. How do we do it in a negative sentence or a question? My friend doesn't have much or lots of money. So it means the same thing. It is only a small amount. Does my friend have many or a lot of clothes? So this is our negative sentence and this is our question. Again, we change the quantifier 
depending on whether the noun is countable or uncountable. So we have much or lots of with an uncountable noun and many or a lot of with a countable noun. If we're not using a noun in our sentence, we can say my friend doesn't have much or many. If we're going to use this, we need to remember, is it a countable or an uncountable noun or a lot? Okay, now it's your turn. Have a look at these sentences and think about how, what would you use, what quantifier would you use in the sentences to show that there is only a small quantity? I'll give you a minute. If you're watching recorded, then you can also stop your video and come back when you've tried the questions. Okay, let's have a look. I have biscuits. So biscuits is a countable noun. We can say one, two, three, four, five biscuits. So we can say a few or very few. So remember, this is a positive sentence. A few means some, but not many. And very few means not many. Okay, I have time. So we have another positive sentence, but time is an uncountable noun. We can't say in this particular incidents, we can't say one time, two times, three times when we're talking about time in this way. So, I have little time or I have very little time. And with no noun, I have a little or a few depending on what the original noun was. Was it countable? or uncountable. Now we have a negative sentence. I don't have biscuits. Biscuits is countable. What quantifier can we use here? I don't have many or a lot of biscuits. Again, a negative sentence, but an uncountable noun much, lots of. And a negative sentence, but with no noun. I don't have much, many, a lot, depending again, were we originally talking about a countable noun or an uncountable noun? And now a question, do you have biscuits? Do you have many or a lot of biscuits? Do you have time? Do you have much or lots of time? Again, many, a lot of, for a countable noun like biscuits. Much or lots of for an uncountable time noun like time. And where we have no noun in a question, 
Do you have much or many? Depending on whether it was a countable noun or uncountable or a lot. If you say a lot, it doesn't matter whether the noun was countable or uncountable. So, how did you do? Do you understand the concept of small quantities and how we can show them using quantifiers? If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section and I'll get back to you. And I will see you again soon. Bye for now.